Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. We are talking about permission to reapply after a deportation order. So what happens if you can adjust status under 245I? Uh, that means uh, you know that you had a family petition or, or employment petition excuse me, filed prior to April 30th, 2001. And let's just say you happen to be inside the U.S. now with a deportation order, but you're eligible to apply for 245I adjustment. So the question is, what can you do? Well, it may be possible for those individuals who are eligible to adjust under 245I to request uh, permission to reapply with their adjustment applications. Um, now, keep in mind the reason may is some offers, some officers will disagree on the regulation, some uh, will say they don't apply and so forth, but of course if it's you know the option to apply versus the option to wait outside the U.S. for 10 to 20 years, generally people will take that, that option. Now, the regulations expressly permit applicants for adjustment of status to apply for 212 consent to reapply from within the U.S. Uh, the application of those regulations, though, is a little foggy depending who might be reading it. However, uh, where this relief is still available, uh, which applicants are eligible to apply, and when they may apply, are subjects of continuing debate. But you get a good immigration lawyer, make a good argument, and, and you know, try to go forward and do it that way. Now, uh, keep in mind, that the three inadmissibility provisions at issue are, you know, whether or not you know you're subject to the three-year bar, the ten-year bar, uh, whether you re-entered um, twice illegally, thereby falling under another section, which you know they would claim makes you permanently inadmissible, um, and so forth. Um, the question is, is whether or not you can apply. But generally, th those waiver provisions are available to uh, apply in those situations and and even though uh, there's particular immigration law that permits a prior order of removal or deportation to be reinstated by the government um, you're still eligible to apply for this type of relief and still eligible to submit it with your adjustment application uh, keeping in mind that if you don't you're never going to have an opportunity to apply, or you're going to just have to leave the country and you know try your route that way, which is not advisable if you have any legal arguments to stay inside the country and apply for adjustment. You should. Now, uh, the the question then uh, is, you have to have an attorney that analyzes the cases as to whether or not this particular waiver will waive if you came into the country twice, so illegally. So basically, after you're deported, after you leave, if you've been out of status for over a year and then you leave or come back to the country, uh, you're subject to a permanent provision, a permanent bar, which you can't even apply for a waiver of that for 10 years. But the argument is that if you're in the United States applying for adjustment under 245I, you should be able to file for a permission to reapply uh, in that particular case. And there's various uh, case law by the Board of Immigration Appeals on this. There's various regulations and so forth. Uh, you need to have those properly reviewed and analyzed and then uh, go forward with your adjustment application at that time. Okay, more in the coming videos.